Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have this fun little journal um, to share with you guys. I went back to my roots and I decided to do a traveler's notebook size. Um, though this is a tiny bit taller than a traveler's notebook because the traveler's notebook size normally is four and a quarter by eight and a quarter. This one here is four and a quarter, but it's eight and a half. So it's just a quarter inch taller. Um, but again, I mean, it's also a standalone journal too, because it has its own closure, but it's more of the TN size, which I absolutely love. And that's what I used to only make all the time. So this one here, I just want to turn this over. I covered the um, I covered the cover <laughs> with wallpaper, and this wallpaper is so cool. It's um, like it's textured in some of the parts, like right here, here on some of the flowers. So it just feels good in your hands. And I believe that I got this gifted to me from my friend Alicia. I'm almost 100% positive. Um, but if it was somebody else, I do apologize. <laughs> So on the front here, I did something a little bit different. I just did a little bit of layering with some different fabric. I have this fabric here, this fabric here, and then this, um, what are these, the thread winders, I think they're called. Uh, this was from the kit that I used in this. Oh, let me just tell you, the kit that I used um, for this journal is from Antique Papery, and it's called Lace Botanical. And... Um, so this was one of the cutouts. I added two little flat back pearls there. Hopefully you can see that. And then I inked around the edge of the um, thread winder. Um, I did sew around all the edges. And then it is closed. I do have um, the eyelets here. And then it just closes tied or tied closed with the uh, little ribbons here. So going in, let me make sure I'm in frame. And I am. Um, I used one of the pages to do the back side of the cover. And then what I thought, um, and I've done this in a couple of my uh, journals so far, I put a piece of vellum as the first page. And I just think that because if I didn't have this, you have two very busy pages together, and I don't want it to take away from either of the pages. So by putting the vellum here, it gives separation. And then, um, just so it's not blank, I sewed on one of the... Um, oh, I... I'm sorry. I made this ephemera. This is one of the pages that shrunk down. And then um, I made it into a journaling card. Because the kit comes with tags and it comes with the thread winders. But you know me, I love to make extra ephemera too. So I did shrink down all the pages in the kit and made small journaling cards out of them. So this is one of the pages just shrunk down and then I sewed it onto here. So here's the first page and this kit, it's called Lace Botanical as I said, but it is so like, I mean it has the laces, it has the flowers, but it has the kind of like vintage grungy look which I absolutely love. So I hope you enjoy this kit. So here, I um, I also printed out large um, sizes of the papers on cardstock. That way I can cut it down. I made extra journaling tags. I made some pockets. So this is um, a page that I cut down, made a pocket, ran some trim, and then inside, these are the this is a tag that came with the kit, and then these are just pieces that I made. Because I think it's important to have lots of extra um, tags, journaling cards, and stuff like that, so you can write on them, but also, you can also decorate the journal as you like, and you can make your own tuck spots and pockets. So here is some of that fabric that I got from my rag rug. I'm just loving that rag rug. It's given me so many, like, extra ways to embellish journals. So another page from the kit. Here is one of the thread winders. And then I just added a little lace, right, um, a crochet trim there. And inside I have two little journaling cards. And that is on some vintage music sheet. And this kit is very light too. It's like a light, soft, airy kit, which I love. Um, so here I made a bookmark. Uh, and of course you can use it in the journal, but you can also use it in an actual book. But I just thought it was kind of cool. 
and you can journal on the back of it if you like. And then here I just ran some bling down the side. I have this eyelet trim here, and then it just lines it there. And then some crocheted lace sewn on there. Another of the pages. I love this too. The butterflies, they're so kind of like magical looking because they're faded. They're not strong colored butterflies, but they do have strong colors in them. They just, I don't know. I don't know if you see it on camera. Maybe I should hold it up a little bit more. Like, look at that one. Doesn't it just look like it should be in fairyland or something? Like fairies should be flying around with it. Just really, really pretty. Um, sewed on some of the eyelet trim there. And this one, I did leave plenty of spaces to journal and to jot down things, to write, to, you know, memory keep. Um, I think that's important, especially for these sizes, because they're so portable. You can throw them in your bag, throw them next to your um, bed on the nightstands, journal in the morning. Um, I just find that with traveler's notebooks, I or the traveler's notebook size, I should say, this size, I do like to keep extra blank pages to do just that, because that's what I like to do. Not saying that everybody has to like what I like, but I think that my likes do come through in um, in journals. So here I took one of the tags. I put um, I tied through a little uh, string there. Then I just added some eyelet trim down here and some crocheted lace, and then turned it into a duck spot. But I thought that was kind of cute. We have some more um, of the rag rug there. We have this here. This page is just, ah, oh, I just love it. Love, love, love it. Here I just did some crochet, tr not crochet trim, eyelet trim down beneath. Put those up there. More blank journaling space. Here's the middle of the signature. And of course, you know I always have a story behind why I use the page that I do in the middle of the signatures. This one, it's very apparent. Well, maybe not. So I shouldn't assume that it's apparent. This I use because of the such um, light background images it has. It's perfect and you for journaling the whole entire sheet. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it is, there are pictures, but they're so light. So even if you were to write with just a regular ballpoint pen, you could fill up both sides easily. So that's why I chose that for the middle. Um, and look at this here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, this was hanging off the side of this uh, this fabric here. And I almost was going to cut it, but then I was kind of like, it's sort of cool just dangling there. I don't know. I personally liked it. So <laughs> I left it on. Left it on just to dangle. Oh, and you know what I just realized? I didn't put my charms on. I do have charms for this too. Um, I think two of them were butterflies. There was a flower one and there was, I think, the angel one. I have to look and see where they are, but those will be put on the edges. Uh, probably when I finish this video so I don't forget. And I like the blue in this. That's really pretty, too. Very pretty. And then some more journaling cards. And this is a pretty image also. But I just love how it's like, it's clean, but it's muted. I don't know if that makes sense. But then there are pops of color, like this is very, you know, bold. Um, but then a lot of it is just real light and airy. And I like light and airy stuff. This one says, Gypsy Love Song. I don't know if it shows up on camera. And here's a top corner tuck, and I did run some bling on that side too, and that just holds two little journaling cards. And another thread winder with two tags there. It's a really beautiful kit. And here's another little pocket I made. Added those inside. 
And then here is the vellum again. And I like this vellum. It's really cool. And it's like a peachy color, sort of. It's like a beige-ish peach color. And then that is the end. So this is, um, I forget what I named it. I did name it. Maybe Soft Flowers. I can't remember. But it is available in my Etsy if you are interested. I'll leave all the information below. Um, and as always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'll, I love reading everybody's messages. So I do appreciate that, and I do thank you for watching. And um, I will see you in the next video. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. Talk to you later. Bye.